Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. Now I'm taking you on a little bit of a walk back to um, my home and I thought I would go on a little bit of a detour to show you some really nice areas um, that I will be passing through, including Holland Park. But first off, I've just come like two streets along. I basically went to the dentist. Um, and I thought I would show you the former home of the one and only Freddie Mercury. Now I looked at this on Google Street View and it was all blurred out, so I'm gonna make sure that obviously I'm not like sticking my camera um, in anyone's uh, noses, but I thought you would like to see. And I haven't had my cup of tea this morning, so um, I can't quite get my words out, but yes, I just went to the dentist down in Kensington, or it was down towards the Cromwell Road, but we're gonna scoot along here and show you and stay maybe out of the way for a sec while they're doing some some renovations and as they are doing some digging over there I'm just going to show you we are on Logan Place and we are going to just to briefly walk past the Garden Lodge in Kensington which you can see there is a very big building and we'll see was the former residence of Freddie Mercury and with that delightful sound in the background um yeah you can see that the home is oh if I can get it in focus um in a very very big house for the area and um, if you are a Queen fan, you'll know that Mary still lives there very privately. And just before we get to the home, I'm gonna quickly show you Logan Mews. So this is Logan Place along here, a little bit of a cobbled street, very nice. But um, I did have a quick look and there is a home for sale along here. And I know you guys like to see little Mews houses for sale. So I'll pop it up on the screen. Can't remember which one it is, but when I go past it, I'll show you. How beautiful are these? It is a u-shaped tiny tiny little road and people often ask me where do people park their cars and in some cases you are allowed to park in front of your home but in most cases you probably want to purchase a residence permit um, which is what I have in my borough of Westminster and then you can park anywhere so you can see there's like street parking there but as we pan round cute little street and then there's a big building there with some nice modern apartments and just to show you um, this is the back of the back garden of one uh, Logan place or the garden lodge and as you can see it's got significant amount of security understandable um, that is extremely high and there's a camera in the corner so if you're coming here and you are a big fan you're not going to be sticking your camera over the walls and rightly so as well so let me walk along here and show you so as we come out of Logan Muse back onto Logan place here we have the walled garden of the home. Very, very private, like I say, understandable. But reading online, it looks like Freddie Mercury moved here in 1985 until he passed away here in 1991. And you will find on the anniversary of him passing, people will come here and put candles down and they often congregate here and maybe play music and have a little bit of a sing song which I don't think is too you know troublesome as long as they don't disturb obviously it is a very private family home now but that is a very big wall it's very very secure and um, like I say on Google uh, Street View you can't see any of this so I think I'm allowed to do this um, I don't want to get in trouble but it seems they seem like they're okay with it I've checked the signs but yeah, you can come along here from the station. We're very near Kensington and I will take you on a little stroll around Holland Park. And I'm gonna guess some people will watch this saying like, oh no, years ago I wrote my name on here or etched my name in. Um, some time ago, they kind of like blasted the wall. I don't know how they did it. Maybe like they sandblasted all of the brick and removed all of the um, the notes that people had left, the like dedications. Um, which I think, you know, fair enough that the owners don't want it. Um, and as you can see, we've got a perspex screen across the Garden Lodge sign um, and lots of cameras. And if anyone's wondering, it is March 2021. I did look online, I couldn't really see anyone coming down here recently. So I just thought on my way home, <laughs> back from the dentist, I would take you along because I'm sure some people would love to see what it currently looks like. But yeah, CCTV in operation, graffiti is a crime and private property. So I'm just gonna keep a little bit of a distance. It's actually a fantastic area to live. I would love to live in this area because you are on the edge of Earl's Court, but in the kind of center of Kensington, I would say. Uh, so you've got this quiet little street, aside from, like I say, all of the vans driving up and down. And then you've got 
what only can be described as probably an exceptional home, um, a detached home as well. Online it says this home is worth anywhere from 25 to 35 million, um, which probably is about right. I'm gonna, when I take you around Holland Park, I'll show you some of the houses. Eye watering. <laughs> And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna like spew off a load of facts about the home and like what happened here and stuff because I'm sure, I'm sure um, in the comments people will start having discussions, um, positive discussions please, and sharing some love for, um, yeah, fellow Queen fans. So I haven't been down here in a little bit of a while, but yeah, there's no one here. It's still technically locked down. Um, you're allowed to kind of go and meet someone now in London if anyone was wondering what, what period we're in. Um, so I am allowed to go meet someone else outside. It's not kind of key essential anymore so yeah we're taking the long walk home there's another truck coming i'm starting to think that maybe this road isn't as quiet as you think um it's a bit of a three road but before we head on to holland park just a few more shots of the home and i know some people probably have clicked on this or even people who've been subscribed with me for a little while and probably saying honey you can't even see anything um but this is this is what you can see this is what is iconic and um for a lot of fans it's really important to come here and uh pay their respects so on that note i'm gonna love and leave this lovely little street logan place and we're gonna head on over to um holland park but yeah I feel like it's important to come here. If you're coming here on holiday and you're a massive Queen fan, just pop along and there's lots of shops and parks around here so you could always kind of integrate it as part of your day. Um, we are pretty near everything in transport, so do consider it. And as I mentioned, Earl's Court is down there, so we're really, really near some transport links. And as we pan across into Logan Place, this is the uh, west side. And today, it originally said it was gonna be really sunny and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go out, go to the dentist, get my steps in, have my sunglasses. What is this? So if you're coming to London, this is probably what you're gonna get. There's no point in me pretending like it's usually really sunny, but it's not cold, it's not raining yet. I've got my geeky backpack and I've got my brolly with me, so um, hopefully it won't rain on us, but Holland Park has got like a really cute, on my understanding, I haven't been in ages, um, a couple of Japanese gardens, so I'll show you all the beautiful sights and all the gorgeous little roads. quickly if you are new to my channel thank you so much for joining um my vlogs tend to be like a little bit of living in london food going to the shops i don't know just little bits and bobs of what it is like to live in london um plus any holidays i get to go on which let's be honest not gonna happen anytime soon so instead i go on lots of long walks uh, around the areas that i live in um and yeah and avoid basically public transport as much as possible and i take you along with me and I just want to show you, this is such a typical area where there's a mishmash of different buildings. So you've got your kind of typical terrace houses, which are no doubt probably um, split into flats. You've got this beautiful church building here and then a very modern <laughs> high rise apartment building there. And then this little beauty on the end. And yeah, as I pan across a very typical little road in this area in the borough of Kensington, and Chelsea. I must say, I don't think I've ever walked along this road before. It's absolutely stunning. A lot of roads in Chelsea in particular are like this, but we're up a little bit further north into Kensington, but yeah, nice private garden. It's a gorgeous little road, isn't it? And I've just crossed the Kensington High Street. Pretty quiet this morning. But yeah, lots of little shops, bits and bobs for you to go to. And then along Melbury Road is where we're going to lead up to Holland and Park. But I'm actually going to quickly show you where we are in the world because I always get asked, oh, hold on, where are we? Where are we? So, zooming in, I find these really confusing because it's not like north and south the correct way, if that makes sense. So we're actually this way round. Um, but we just came from, oh, how confusing. Um, so we just came from down this way and I've walked along here past this beautiful square, across the road and we are then going to go up here. Now there is a design museum, I'm not really going to have time to show you that and also it's all closed at the moment so I'm sure we'll be back at some point. And then we'll head on up here and then the main part of Holland Park is this huge area here and then Notting Hill is this whole area 
in the north. I never learned my lesson. I struggle to vlog if I haven't had a brew. So if I see somewhere to get a cup of tea, at least halfway through the walk, you know I'm gonna get one. I can't function without a tea. And I often get asked if I could live anywhere in London, where would it be? And I do think Holland Park is probably in my top two because the buildings are just absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And yes, as I say, there's some eye-watering prices and I know people are going to say, well, does it really look like you're in London, Hannah? Well, that's the appeal of it. Um, it's extremely quiet, she says as a van goes past. There's a lot of vans out today. Um, but you don't feel like you're really in a city centre, but you are a stone's throw from everywhere. And it has a beautiful mix of buildings. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this place is absolute goals. And I'm going to quickly show you Melbury Road. Because if you live in the UK, or maybe you're like me and you like going on Daily Mail because it just makes you feel a bit better about your own life, um, you might recognise this, I was going to say little house, it's not a little house, it's absolutely gigantic, with the turret. Because it's often in the papers because this one keeps arguing with this one. Because the legend that is Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin lives here in this gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing house, but next door he keeps kicking off because he's not very happy with Robbie Williams who lives next door. So apparently Mr Williams for a considerable amount of time now has been trying to extend his home. I don't know the details of it. I, my understanding though quickly looking online is that he wants to build down um, and it messes up I think some trees or something and there's some concerns around the stability, stability of the ground. I don't know but yeah he's not very happy with his neighbours so guess what guys you have all the money in the world and you still have ding dongs with your neighbours but Robbie's house oh I did not mean for this to turn into celeb house spotting with Hannah um but yeah I couldn't really not show you those could I <laughs> oh I must say though Robbie you can get a pressure washer out you need to clean that moss off come on mate sort it out and we've got the entrance to Holland Park. I'm at the south entrance. I will show you the route from the station from the north because that's probably where most people are going to come from. But how beautiful is this little road? Oh, I can imagine at Christmas this looking absolutely stunning. We'll have to come back. Okay, this is a much better view. So yeah, we came from down south and we're going to walk around this area have a look there is a cafe i don't think it'll be open and um, there's like facilities and sports bits and bobs and there is a whole sports kind of area here obviously it says tennis courts and then we're going to go to the kyoto garden i think i'm pronouncing that right and then up all the way up to the exit which is by the embassy of greece if you're wondering how big holland park or how small it is i'm trying to get that without the reflection in the background obviously holland park and then you've got kensington gardens which then links onto hyde park and i did do that in another vlog so i will link that in the description hmm i'm guessing you're not allowed to have your dog off their leash now there's a considerable amount of um, leaf blowers and strimmers and stuff so um, without further ado I'm going to do a little music montage as usual uh, so enjoy.
right, and I've made it to the Fukushima Garden. Oh, I do hope I pronounced that correct. But what a cute little place. Um, I really enjoy the little Japanese garden that is at Regent's Park. So I'm actually going to link that in the description. I'll link it at the end as well. Uh, so check that out. But yeah, I don't think I've ever been in here. Maybe about 10 plus years ago um, when I was at uni. That was a while ago. Oh, how beautiful. I love this park because it has so many benches. I mean, it's not a very warm day today. I mean, it's about seven degrees, but it's not raining. And there's loads of benches. Oh, look at this. Okay, please walk clockwise around the garden. Will do. And I did see a sign for keep your dogs on. They're leashes for the whole park, not just this area. And right on cue, it's just started raining. Oh, look at that. And I can hear a waterfall, so we'll have to go over there. It looks like literally just further down, we, I came in this entrance, there is this grand entrance with this amazing kind of tile work on the floor, but they have got this like plaque um, explaining what the Kyoto Garden is. So it's part of the Japan Festival from 1991. And, um, and yeah, it was presented to the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea as a gift. Um, yeah, how cool is that? Is that the same squirrel? <laughs> it's not, I know it's not. <laughs> This is a very like non-grassy park. Um, obviously there was big open green spaces further down south, but I've just noticed I've overshot the cafe, haven't I? So I'll have to go probably through Notting Hill, I'll have to walk through Notting Hill to go home and grab a brew and most probably some food because I am hungry. And also Holland House, which I'll pop up on the screen now, was covered in scaffolding and uh, like scrim, so you couldn't see it, but beautiful building. So if you're coming here, hopefully renovations will be done, but I'm gonna head on up here. Oh, this is not somewhere I'd wanna be in the dark, because um, it's raining. I knew this was gonna happen, honestly. I cannot wait to not have to wear like a proper coat. Um, it's actually pretty cold today. I said it was a few degrees, but the real feel is a lot lower. Uh, it's about real feel of about three. But it's all good, get my steps in, and I am technically walking home, just a very long way. <laughs> As we go through this cute little arch, I feel like the, the rain is lifting a little bit. How beautiful is that? No doubt in the summer this will be chock a block. The sound of a screaming child. Lovely. And I spoke too soon. The heavens have opened a little bit more. So goodbye, Holland Park. You were very nice, although a little bit muddy. So definitely wear your old shoes when you come here. Let's head on out. And this is the main entrance or walled entrance into Holland Park. And uh, if you're coming from the station, the northern, northern line, the central line is just up around the corner. Oh, this weather's horrible. I might have to say bye soon. Um, oh, actually, this is a really nice road. Let me quickly show you, because I know you all love a muse house. Um, but yeah, this isn't a private road, so it's fine to go down. I'll have a look if any are for sale. But these are proper quirky because you have your garage at the, obviously, at the beneath part of ground level even and then you have these little steps that go up 
it's a very very strange design but it's quite common there's quite a lot in uh, Chelsea that look like this as well I'm not gonna walk all the way down because I'm gonna head on back home but you can see oh god look at the sky it's absolutely piddling it down very strange aren't they they're pretty cool I have done a shocking job at vlogging today I can't get my words out I've tried to do my camera do my camera see i can't even talk i'm trying to show you things clearly um it's now raining i've got water on my lens so i think i might have to put my camera away i don't know how long this vlog was but i hope you enjoyed it but i have to show you a typical road in holland park i couldn't have done a holland park vlog without showing this i, I appreciate i've only really shown you the park but these buildings are absolutely stunning and they cost a bloody fortune to live in i'll pop some on the screen these are my goals in life guys these, this is what keeps me motivated. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get there, but I can try my best. But these buildings are absolutely stunning with the kind of like glass entrance. What do you call that across the top? Most of them are flat, but I will show you, I would have just shown you some of them that are houses, including, um, I can't remember if it's this road or a couple of roads down is where the Beckhams lived or live. I think they're still trying to sell their house super pricey but anyway guys i need to put my body up yes i've got loads of water on my lens um and i'm gonna carry on walking home i don't really know what is happening here with the weather because it originally said it was going to be sunny and now it's rainy so if you're coming to london pack a brolly <laughs> what am i doing in my next vlog i'm not sure i was going to do one on like cherry blossom and go for a walk around like notting hill or something and show you um but i need nicer weather than this because we're not doing it in the rain and i don't really want to fight with the instagram models posing on a brick wall but anyway, I will be doing something fun and I will definitely go to Fortnum Mason and do a food shop soon or will I go to Harrods? Shops are opening on the 12th of April here in England, so good times. You are allowed to go meet someone outdoors to the park, so definitely going to be going to the park next weekend. But then it hailed last weekend, so it all keeps going wrong. We've had shocking weather, um, but anyway, it's better than too much snow. Anyway, I'm waffling on now, so I will see you in the next vlog. Take care, look after each other. Bye!